Hey guys, I'm your host Zap. I bought Wavelink Thunderbolt 3 SSD enclosure. It's my first Thunderbolt 3 enclosure and I'm excited to see how it performs. I've had a USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 2 SSD enclosure before with a transfer speed around 1000 megabytes per second. But the SSD inside can theoretically transfer around 3000 megabytes per second. So I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to try out a new enclosure, specifically a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, so I can get most out of the SSD I have. I found this Thunderbolt 3 enclosure on Amazon. It's by a brand named Wavelink. They make a bunch of uh, electronics like routers and enclosures and whatnot. M.2 SSD enclosure and it says aluminum design. Now they don't say aluminum enclosure. They only say aluminum design, whatever that means. And we'll find out when we assemble later on. What caught my attention when I was looking for my new Thunderbolt 3 enclosure is the price. Look at this price, $99.99. Now they provide test data and they use Samsung 970 EVO 250 gig. And they used a couple of different laptops. One is Lenovo ThinkPad, which is two lanes. And they provide the read speed at 1400 megabyte per second and the write speed at 1500 megabyte per second. They also provide MacBook Pro 2018 test result, which is four lanes, 2700 megabyte per second. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is the Thunderbolt 3 speed and write speed stays the same as the Lenovo ThinkPad which is at 1500 megabyte per second. All right, let's get moving. Here they say enhanced heat dissipation design. I'm not sure what they mean by enhanced heat dissipation design, but we'll find out when I do the assembly later in this video. Scroll down a little bit and they have this beautiful, beautiful photo of the enclosure right next to MacBook. And once again here they give the, the test result. Blah, blah, blah. They say Intel certified, Thunderbolt 3. Alright, so let's assemble. itself. It's a classic. But we'll check. Alright, let's put this aside. Now they included a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is nice without this heat sink. Now this is aluminum. Just a bunch of screws. This here, that's nice they, they included something like this. I mean, you don't need it, but why not? All right, uh, let's start. Page, okay. This is totally plastic, it's not aluminum. Now, it's got the aluminum sheet, but then this is fixed to that plastic cover. So I don't know how effective this is in terms of heat transfer. First, have to unscrew this. This is really just a piece of metal sheet attached to the plastic casing outside. So again, I'm not sure how effective uh, the heat dissipation is. This is the board that was inside the enclosure. Alright, so I have Cellcom Power's 2TB SSD. As you can see, the SSD ever so slightly sort of floats. It's hard to see, but there's space between the board and SSD itself. And 
Now we put the heat sink onto this. Like this. Now, as you can see, and it's got this spring mechanism. So the idea is that the back side of this heat sink will be directly touching the surface of the SSD. Okay, now we're gonna put this back in here. Place it like so. Push it in. This black part is totally plastic, not aluminum. And also, this piece that goes around is also plastic. All right, all I have to do is just put the cover back like so. Now I'm gonna keep this tape on for now. I just wanna make sure that I can take the cover off after I run benchmarks. And if I find anything wrong with it, I need to return. So. Now I'm not sure what it is. It has an alignment issue. It doesn't quite go in. This might be a quality issue. I'm not sure if it's particular to this unit. On both sides, these screws didn't go in fully and I don't wanna put excess pressure. And there's another hole here. I just cannot get the screw to go in. So this one doesn't go in fully either. They got ventilation holes here and holes are real so the hot air can go out well anyway so that's that all right so we did the assembly and we ran the test and we have the numbers so let's wrap it up in my test it delivered the transfer speed of 2,660 megabyte per second and 1,340 megabyte per second for read and write speed respectively. So that's all good, but I'm not sure how efficient metal plates inside the plastic enclosures can be for heat dissipation. Most other Thunderbolt 3 enclosures come with aluminum enclosure with a solid aluminum construction. Wavelink's enclosure came with the plastic enclosure. The plastic enclosure wraps everything inside the SSD, the base circuit board, the, the heat sink, and the thin metal plates all together. So really, the punch holes on the side of the enclosure are where the heat escapes. I cannot be very positive about this, given the fact the enclosure does not have active cooling, like a fan inside. Even many of USB Type-C SSD enclosures have aluminum construction and they are typically priced around $30 US. Now, Thunderbolt 3 enclosures typically cost around $130 or more. So when I saw the $99 price tag for this Wavelink Thunderbolt 3 enclosure and the description say aluminum design, I thought it was a good deal. But now I confirm the enclosure is in fact plastic. So now I'm not sure where the value proposition I thought I was offered is. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'll be testing new smartphones soon. I'll be uploading photos and videos and sharing my two cents. I hope to see you then. All right, see ya.